Hey, it's Neil. I'm here at Apple's Far Out event where the company just announced the new iPhone 14, the iPhone 14 Plus, the iPhone 14 Pro, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I just had a chance to play with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It looks beautiful. It's obviously this amazing purple color. The real standout feature is the dynamic island. That's what Apple's calling the new cutout around the front camera. The big trick here is the OLED display around this pill-shaped cutout you can actually move and resize around the camera and the true depth sensor. So you kind of get a hybrid of notifications and live widgets right on the screen at all times. You can see here, I just started playing some music. I swipe up, the music player goes straight into the dynamic island. I can add a timer. The timer also goes in the dynamic island. Now I can quickly jump into either of those apps or quickly control either of those apps directly from the island. You can also do things like start a voice memo, see those controls right in the dynamic island. Apple says third-party apps will be able to use the dynamic island. It will also play nice with the new live activity widgets in iOS 16. So all kinds of things in your phone are gonna be updating dynamically way more often. The iPhone 14 Pro also has a new camera system. The standout feature here is a 48 megapixel sensor on the main camera. Like other big sensors around the industry, Apple is pixel binning this to collect more light. You usually get a 12 megapixel photo out of the end, but in Pro Raw, you can shoot the entire 48 megapixel image. Apple says it can also crop the sensor to deliver a true 2X zoom at optical quality. That's still 12 megapixels. And of course, you've got the true 3X telephoto on the Pro. So three true zoom modes, we're gonna have to check on that crop quality. Apple is also applying its deep fusion technology earlier in the image pipeline now with something called the Photonic Engine. It says it can deliver at least 2x better performance in low light on most of the cameras, 3x in the main camera. Of course, that's hard to test here. It's lit beautifully. We'll get that out in the real world and check it out. The other big news on the Pro is the always-on display. Apple says it's using a bunch of technologies to accomplish this, including a new ultra-low one hertz refresh rate and even lower brightness with a new kind of OLED technology it's using. Uh, you can just see your lock screen widgets here, hit the button, it brightens right up, you're awake. Obviously, Android phones have had this feature forever, but it's nice to see it come to the iPhone. The other big feature on the display is it can do up to 1600 nits peak brightness now, which matches the studio display. With some videos, it can go up to 2000 nits of brightness, which is frankly incredible for a phone. For the iPhone 14 Pro, you've got the new A16 Bionic chip. Apple says it's its first four nanometer chip ever, and of course, it's fastest chip ever. They showed us some charts, unlabeled axes. Charts look great. Apple also says in some operations, it'll be up to 20% faster than the A15 Bionic in the outgoing Pro. Apple obviously says battery life is improved. The stat it's quoting is 29 hours of video playback time. So we'll have to get this out in the real world to test it out. Connectivity wise, still a 5G phone. Apple is doing away with SIM trays here in the United States. They're all eSIM now. That means you activate the phone on whatever provider right from the phone itself. Providers have been locking these down, so we'll have to see how that works out in the real world. Apple's also adding its new emergency SOS satellite system, where you can hold the phone up to the sky uh, and send text messages to emergency providers. That's a complicated system. We'll get into more on the site. Video-wise, the camera has some new modes. It's got action mode, which is a hyper-stabilized mode. It actually uses that full sensor and overscans, and then crops it down to stabilize the video. You also can shoot in 4K24 and 4K30 in cinematic mode now. You can see here, cinematic mode did not like all of these faces. We'll have to test that out as well. The iPhone 14 Pro starts at $999. The 14 Pro Max starts at $1099. Both can be configured up to one terabyte of storage. Pre-orders start on September 9th. They ship on September 16th. We'll be back soon with a full review. Apple also announced the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus, which has a 6.7 inch screen. These have the same A15 Bionic chip as last year's Pro models. The screens can get up to 1200 nits of peak brightness. The iPhone 14s also have improved cameras. The main camera is still a 12 megapixel sensor, but it's got smaller 1.9 micron pixels and an f1.5 aperture lens. Apple's also using its photonic engine tech it just introduced that puts that deep fusion sweater mode earlier in the process. You get two times better low light performance on most of the cameras, two and a half times better performance on the main camera. The front camera on the iPhone is really important. It's also been improved here. It's now f1.9 with autofocus for the first time. Apple says you get 38% better low light performance. The video also gets the new action mode, which uses the full sensor. It's supposed to give you gimbal-like stabilization. We'll have to check that out. And of course, the iPhone 14s can now shoot in Dolby Vision HDR, which is very cool. 
The big feature of the iPhone 14 Plus, though, is the new satellite emergency SOS system, where if you're out in the wilderness, away from connectivity, and something bad happens to you, you can hold your phone up to the sky, connect directly to a satellite, and send a text message to an emergency provider. If that emergency provider doesn't accept text messages, Apple actually has a relay stations where Apple staff will accept your text messages, call the emergency provider, and pass messages back and forth. That feature will be free with the new iPhone 14 for two years. We have to see how much it'll cost after that. The weirdest thing about this event is that almost every video had a car crash in it. Apple's got a new feature on the phones and the watch where it can detect car crashes and alert emergency services and your emergency contacts. iPhone 14 starts at $799. The iPhone 14 Plus starts at $899. You can order them on September 9th. The smaller iPhone 14 you can get on September 16th. The larger iPhone 14 Plus arrives on October 7th. It's been three years since there was an event in the Steve Jobs Theater, let alone an iPhone event, and it is nuts to be back here.